You know what drives me crazy, and I've alluded to this in my past blogs, is when people abuse words and phrases. For example, my friend Corey, who you may remember from the Sniped It blog, says escape instead of escape. My friend Liz, who you've heard voice the Jolts blog, says library instead of library. My pal Tristan says nip it in the butt and rule of good thumb. My brother-in-law ignores the D in Edmonton and says Edmonton. My wife says all of the sudden and it happened on accident. And my dad intentionally articulates words incorrectly such as Sandra Butlock and San Josie Sharks. And don't even get me started on our beloved Canadian icon, Don Cherry. Okay, he put that, watch the play here, Dred Skull, just uh, you say saucer crevasse over that. But the worst is when people say frustrated. Ugh. But the thing is, I actually looked it up, and according to Urban Dictionary, frustrated is having such a high level of frustration that you completely forget to pronounce the first R in frustration when you're trying to describe your feelings to your peers. And I think there are a lot of Oilers fans right now that are frustrated. Now, when I finished watching the game last night, I flipped over to CW, and one of my favorite comedies was on, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. And as I was sitting there watching Steve Martin and John Candy interact with each other, I thought to myself, these are the two types of Oilers fans right here. There are the Neil Pages, who are high-strung, cynical, and are carrying the weight of nine straight years out of the playoffs on their shoulders. And then there are the Del Griffiths, who, despite how bleak things may seem, are focusing on the positives. I think you know which group I fall into. Now, having said that, the one thing I have been frustrated with this year is the almost comedic occurrences of bad goals, bad bounces, and fluke injuries that the team has had. One more look. <laughs> wow. That's just basically tackling a guy. Like, what? Yakupov's out two to four weeks. And the reason that this is frustrating is because the Oilers have played such tight games that sometimes these silly little things are the difference between winning and losing. Not even winning and losing, just even getting games to overtime and getting some loser points. And if you don't think that's important, just look at Vancouver. They've lost 14 of their 23 games and they're in a playoff spot. So how are you feeling? Are you feeling anxious and irritated like Neil Page? Or are you feeling optimistic like Del Griffith? Let me know in the comments section below, and I'll actually see you tomorrow because I've had a number of people ask me about the Travis Hamanick trade speculation, so I'm going to weigh in on that. I'll see you tomorrow.